What have you ever milked? Cat. A cat? I went in and just simply, you know, just. I, I, I had no idea you could milk a cat. Oh, yeah, you can milk anything with nipples. I have nipples, Brett. Could you milk me? Okay, can we change the subject, perhaps? What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Courting. And over the weekend was <clears throat> wild on Twitter. Uh, Jordan Peterson making um, a very spicy mistake, uh, I, I think. Uh, retweeting <laughs> something that a lot of people are still seeing when their eyes are closed. But then he comes back and like triples down and just starts just going hard, like as hard as I've ever seen, just seeing him <laughs> just get savage on Twitter. I don't know what's going on with Jordan B. Peterson on Twitter. It's entertaining. Uh, perhaps he's entered a new arc of uh, spice levels. I mean, he used the... The naughty, he, he was cursing in his tweets. I've never seen that before. Maybe he's trying to shake things up, but it was a wild weekend if you follow uh, Jordan B. Peterson, including his his daughter's reaction. So his daughter, I, I can't show what he tweeted because uh, it has also been viewed by like a million people since he quote tweeted it. His daughter writes, Dad, you can't retweet this on Twitter. My eyes will never recover now i don't know you know if you saw what it was it was uh i don't even know if i can describe it okay it was like uh what they do to cows but like a machine that but with men I, he said mistakenly look and we've all fallen for it <clears throat> i'm not gonna make fun of him for uh for uh for falling for a, a tweet or whatever, or, but some of the other replies to this tweet was, uh, love the doc, but this was too much. Some of the, the cartoon, oh my God, I'm losing it. Most of the, most of the replies also include other things I can't show. So this article, what did George Peterson tweet? Internet in disbelief as a viral Retweet claim sparks wild reactions. Now, we know for a fact the video is not from China, but Canadian psychologist Dr. Jordan Peterson found himself in a tw on the Twitter trending page after retweeting a post which contained a controversial video of male milking. The original post appeared to falsely claim that it was a video from the CCP. The clip comes with a caption that read, What's going on in China? Three children policy question mark. And you see uh, slats here saying just to be 100% clear, Jordan Peters had just unironically retweeted a video of male milking, a male milking dungeon in the UK claimed to be footage of terrible things happening in China. Peterson responded to the original video by quoting the original post, the now deleted tweet from the psychologist reads, such fun and unbelievable techno nightmare CCP. As the tweet went viral, social media users pointed out that the video reportedly came from a UK-based studio and not China shortly after the account behind the original post apologized for the mistake and wrote, sorry, my mistake. I found this video on WeChat and they said this was a China's collection room for uh, Seed. Turns out the studio was from the UK. Meanwhile, Dr. Peterson's daughter, Michaela Peterson, replied to her father saying, Dad, you can't retweet this on Twitter. My eyes will never recover. While Dr. Peterson quickly deleted his quote tweet, numerous screenshots of his remarks in the controversial clips made their way around online. Dr. Jordan Peterson recently left social media users in shock after quoting a tweet showing an inappropriate video of uh, milking. While the original tweet mistakenly came, blah, blah, as Peterson's response to the clip went viral, the psychologist deleted his comment. Netizens took rapid screenshots to repost to Twitter to share the reactions. Will Summer writes, not sure I'm ever going to recover from Jordan Peterson tweeting a milking video because he thinks it's a real Chinese government policy. I mean, there, there's a lot of uh, not great <laughs> things that happen. Uh, but, but after that, 
I want to point out too. So like there's been some things that Jordan Peterson's been on a bit of a war path on Twitter, arguing directly with the Pope. His Holiness had tweeted hashtag social justice demands that we fight and uh, against the causes of poverty. And Jordan Peterson took on the Pope. Uh, and this particular tweet, um, interesting tweet that he replied to as well, writing, uh, demanding prison. So I don't know if this is like Jordan Peterson's super based arc or if he's just having a bad day. Lord knows I know all about that. But here's a tweet also from this weekend from Bill Bar Chris, who talks about um, the, the process of making, you know, this, the surgical process that biological men go through when they uh, um, transition, so to speak. And it, it involves basically, as I said on my live stream this morning, imagine peeling a banana, then throwing the banana away, then inverting the banana uh, skin, and then cramming it up there. That's how they make that for uh, people that transition. So somebody said, somebody tweeted that it had, it was in fact being done in on, uh, people who are under 18 in the United States. Now I want to make sure there's not a picture on this. Okay. So there isn't, cause I already have to edit a couple of <laughs> pictures out of this. So you see the doctor says that it is done. Um, and then they have to get dilation done for the rest of their life. I mean, they're talking about these surgeries where again, most people fall, including myself is that I, if you want to do this to your body and you're 18 years old, go ahead. I don't recommend it, but I'm not a doctor. Okay. So I don't know. People get all sorts of weird things done. Uh, tattoos, which are, is a little bit different. Um, you know, all sorts of body modification stuff. If a doctor wants to do it, uh, I guess, I'm not sure I would call them a doctor, but that's, that's neither here nor there. I think where most people agree is in the fact that we don't want kids getting it done. And, you know, I think the fact of the matter is, you know, the rhetoric around this is getting so much like more inflammatory, but I, I think the the reality is, look, I went through a lot of phases when I was young. You're talking about someone who's six, been in, doing, feeling a certain way for five months, six months, and parents can't wait to rush and have their kids have these surgeries done so that they can post it online about what a great hashtag parent, hashtag transparent, whatever they are. Um, and these doctors that are doing this, uh, in my opinion, are committing a crime too. So he finds this video and then he quote tweets prison, which I think is a fine reply. Uh, to that, especially if they're doing these kind of procedures on people who are uh, young, right? But then he gets even spicier and quote tweets the same tweet and said, it's not a V, it's a hole for another man to F, f word. And that's that. Like, I mean, he's not wrong. Okay, he's not wrong. All right, but like, I don't know if he's just amping it up. Maybe now that he's with the Daily Wire, he's hanging out with Matt Walsh. Matt Walsh has got him uh, spicing things up. You see a lot of this Jordan Peterson unchained. Spicy, but no lies detected. Is he wrong, though? I mean, that's that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, he's not wrong. All right? he's He's not wrong. However... This is extremely spicy for for the soft spoken. You see Jordan unleashed, based Peterson, uh, straight from the hip. You know, like that. That's you know, like he's not okay. I like your tweets again. I mean, he he just I guess got unleashed over the weekend. Decided that he had had enough. Uh, that he was gonna amp up his his uh, language and. I guess I can't blame him. I mean, I think a lot of people on the non-leftist side of Twitter and YouTube and stuff like that uh, have kind of taken up this banner of not being so nice anymore because, well, being nice has led to several losses over the years. And maybe 
Jordan B. Peterson is uh, has picked up that arc. I you know I support him. I don't support you know his take about anonymous troll demons. Um, but he has since kind of added some nuance to that. He's added some um, you know some knowledge around uh, what he meant when he talked about getting rid of anonymous people on the internet. You know, certainly anonymity is extremely important uh, online, and it's something that I would fight for, fight to keep. Uh, however, you know, Jordan Peterson does deal with a lot of it, and, you know, I kind of relate to him on that a little bit. You know, he picks a lot of fights, and then eventually the backlash wears him down, and uh, he needs some time off. And so I definitely relate to that. Now, I would never come back and demand the removal of... Uh, you know, anonymity online, but I think he's kind of backed off on that issue. It's been four or five months since he did that. And I still think that Jordan Peterson does an enormous amount of good. I hope he continues doing uh, what he's doing. And I, I'm definitely looking forward to the the spicy version of uh, Jordan Peterson on Twitter because, uh, well, he's worth a follow right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, we are just 2,900 subscribers away from 1.5 million. I would absolutely love it if you, if you haven't yet, if I could earn your subscription today. And we'll talk to you again real soon.